but I think I see why I need a mouse over. That meteor was completely wasted. The earth elemental is not doing us any favor. I'm going to interrupt that, try and group them up. This is time for grippy hands, DK. Hard casting for the SKB. Okay, I want to stack up with this person. Why am I hard casting a pyroblast? I think it's because I was confused. I don't want to interrupt the cast now. Paladin definitely a little bit lost in the sauce about what he's supposed to do when this starts happening. We can shroud here. Cool, we managed to shred past these. That's pretty cool. Combustion is about to end. I'm going to drop a meteor. Oh, we have bursting, and I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> okay, I forgot that I have the other affix to worry about now. Hi, hello, and welcome. I'm definitely not Licht Pepe, and you're watching me pug my way to 3k rating on a Fire Mage in Dragonfly Season 3. If you've been following along, you could definitely tell that I have a bunch of new gear now. I obviously have a new transmog. It's the normal tier set from Amir Drasil. I think most of these pieces aren't even transmogged. I'm just wearing them. I think it's a neat enough look. I'm missing the belt, but hopefully I can get the belt at some point. Or maybe I can use the catalyst on a belt. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Probably going to be a crafted belt, so I don't think I could do that other than just maybe unlock and then whatever. I'm getting sidetracked. In today's episode, my plan is to push up my key as much as I can. I'm probably going to aim for a 15 to get started on the worm crest because I got some champion gear to like to upgrade. And I think I'm just going to craft a bunch of stuff with worm crests because in this series, people have agreed that I am allowed to send myself gold so I can recraft as much as I want. I just can't buy myself raid BOEs. But before I get into that, I want to show really quickly how I actually got the 440 item level the second I hit level 70. So let's get into that. Okay, so the gear that I actually crafted for myself, I don't think I'm wearing any of it anymore. But basically, it's gear that you can craft or level 70 and you don't need any expensive materials or anything like that. What you do need is these green little balls, one that I just picked up right now. The reason you want to collect these, and these are part of the Dream Surge event. To find the Dream Surge event, you look for this Dream Surge icon, this big green thing that's currently covered up by the horn. But basically, every week the zone changes and whatever zone it's in, it'll have these green balls to collect. Collecting these green balls actually gives you Welpling's Dreaming Crest. What you want to do is you want to collect 360 to 390 of these. If you use a two-hander and just a two-hander, you only need 360. If you use a one-hander and offhand, or if you dual wield, you're going to need 390. The next step is to buy Nascent Welpling's Dreaming Crest. It takes 30 Welpling's Dreaming Crest to buy one Nascent one, and you're going to buy as many as you can. So either 12 or 13 of them, depending on, again, whether you use a just one two-hander or if you use two weapon slots. Once you do that, you're going to craft 12 to 13 Welpling's Dreaming Crest, Enchanted Welpling's Dreaming Crest. You can track the recipe, and I suggest favoriting it so that when you open up the search, or rather when you open up the crafting orders, you can find it right away. And you track it just so that you can see what materials you need for it. Again, you need the Nascent, Nascent Welpling's Dreaming Crests first. Where you buy those, by the way, that was just the enchanting supplies vendor down there. That's all you need to go to. He sells the Nascent Welpling's Dreaming Crests. It wasn't just a random NPC I went up to. I went to the specific one you need to go to. I suggest looking for someone who can craft this for you in a trade chat. People are more than eager to craft the enchanted crests because they get resources back from their resourcefulness. So they'll usually even do it for free. I like to add in a hundred gold commission for these Welpling crests because the materials they can get back are not as significant as the other crests, which can sometimes award you Dracothus, which are pretty expensive. Once you have those crafted, what you're going to look for is, let's say you're a plate wearer. You're going to go into armor, plate you're going to search and then what you're looking for is this explorer's plate chest card you're looking for the rare quality gear that it requires level 61 or 70 some of it is 61 some of it is 70 i don't know how they split that but basically that's how it is with these you can add an optional reagent and there you can add your enchanted Welpling's dreaming crest this will make the item have 434 to 447 item level depending on the quality of the craft Rank 1 being 434 and rank 5 being 447. Crafters will often be a little confused when you ask them to craft this because not many people are crafting things with the enchanted Welpling's Dreaming Crest. So when you whisper them or if they whisper you, they'll maybe whisper you prices for gear that's 463 or higher. That's because usually people just craft with the Sparks and or the Worms or Aspects Shadow Flame Crests. The same thing goes for weapons. You're going to go into weapons, let's say two-handed. You're going to look for staves as a mage, let's say. And you're going to look for the Overseer's Wraithbark Stave. Again, you can add the Enchanted Welpling's Dreaming Crest. Let's say you click on Illuminating Pillar of the Isles. It's going to ask you for a spark. The items you're looking for do not require sparks. You do not need sparks. If you go over here, you see you need one Blazing in Ink and one Ruined Wraithbark. If you want them crafted at rank 5 quality, I strongly suggest using rank 3 materials. Another nice thing about this is the fact that you can just use Draconic Missives to determine which stats you have. So you have a very good stat distribution for yourself as soon as you hit level 70. Draconic 
submissives basically they add a bit of recipe difficulty but what they do is they let you guarantee which stats you can have or not can have but which stats you will have once the item is crafted if you don't know what recipe difficulty is don't worry about it just make sure your crafter can actually craft the item at rank 5 quality recrafting is also an option but i strongly suggest you don't recraft because it'll just waste a bunch of time you can definitely find people out there that will do this for cheap for you at rank 5 quality anyway that's how i got the 445 item level the second i hit level 70 it costs about 15 to 20k gold to do this depending on how cheap you can make people craft the items for i usually pay 1k gold per item with whelpling's dreaming crest and the materials for a single enchanted whelpling's dreaming crests usually cost me about 500 to 600 gold they're really not that expensive hopefully this helps you set up a new character fairly quickly and you can get to blasting dungeons as soon as you hit 70. so there are quite a few new things for abraham first of all we have horse set because i did looking for a raid i got myself veteran pants i got myself a bunch of other gear from doing plus tens by the way this add-on that i'm using to display my inventory or my character profile like this it's called narcissus it's useful for a bunch of other things primarily taking like really cool screenshots of your character i also use it to make my thumbnails with my character in them it's really cool but yeah i wanted to point out i've done everything on a plus 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 10 so all of them are giving me 142 rating and i got 1140 rating the reason i'm doing 10 still is because i want drake crests i'm just gonna need a lot of drake crests to upgrade everything to the point where i want it to be i should probably be focusing on just pushing higher and that's what i'm going to do in this episode but yeah let's get back to the gear changes that i have so i don't have enchants on this or on this and the reason is because this is a veteran tier piece and the enchant for legs costs quite a bit of gold. I don't want to spend that gold. Even though I'm allowed to send myself gold, I still don't want to spend it. The stat increase from it is negligible. It's not going to change anything. I'll put it on higher item level gear, but I'm not going to put it on a veteran piece because I'm going to replace it fairly quickly. The belt enchant, I'm also going to put on a crafted belt rather than this belt because I will eventually craft the belt. And once I craft the belt, I know I'm not going to be replacing it. So that belt, I will enchant. I crafted myself one of each of these rings because I wanted to get the extra, uh, whatchamacallit, sockets. And I also wanted to have a bit more control over my stat distribution. I really just wanted to get a bit more haste because I was starting to get really, really low on haste. I think at some point I got to about like 2k haste and I started to just shift things around in my gear to make sure that I have enough haste. I also managed to get myself a coagulated Genosaur blood from the Everbloom run that I did while I was doing all of my plus 10s. I got pretty lucky with that. And I also just got some other champion gear, which I have since theorified. Yes, I have five pieces of tier. I literally theorified the shoulders just to have the transmog. I'm not even joking. I did not need to terrify the shoulders. I mean, the stats on the shoulders are not bad. Mastery versatility works out for me. I think the other shoulders that I had had worse stats. But at any rate, we have quite a bit of new gear. Obviously, we're at 461 item level, as you can see from over here. And I think we're pretty much ready to go and blast some more dungeons. Another thing that I did do is I switched to the Ignite build. I wanted to try it out just for fun, and it turns out it's actually really, really nice. It doesn't do great on trash because things die far too quickly for Ignite to really do any serious damage. And there's very rarely, if ever, any beefy enough targets to tu tunnel into in a plus 10 tyrannical key. Few exceptions being like the bear and DHT on the first pull and the Ravager or whatever the heck it's called in Throne of the Tides, the big uh, multi-legged enemy that does the bu bullet spray thing, whatever. You know what I'm talking about if you're familiar with the dungeon. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and push my key up to a plus 15 and then just do a bunch of 15s. The reason I want to do 15s is because I, I feel comfortable doing 15s. Well, actually, we'll see how comfortable I feel about doing 15s, but I think I'm okay to do 15s on this character. Uh, another reason why I want to do 15s is because I don't want to start getting asked crests yet that sounds weird but it's because i'm going to need a lot of warm crests and the way i let myself do runs by the way outside of recording is i will not do or at least at the very best of my ability try not to do a run that is a higher key than something i've already done while recording so if the best key i ever do is a plus 10 i will not do a plus 11 or higher while i'm not recording so basically i have the plateau for how high of a key i can run is whatever key i've recorded and posted as a video anyway I'm going to get to 15s, and then I'm going to grind the crap out of 15s over the rest of my weekend. So let's get started. We're going to do a Throne of the Tides 10. Slap together a group real quick. We're trying to plus, uh, like, 3 star it so that we can push the key as quickly as possible. I'm not even going to bother hitting anything. I'm just going to look for the caster here and drop a meteor and combust immediately and just start spamming the bejesus out of fire pyroblast, I guess. Using my instant cast to keep getting as many of these as through as possible. Things are dying now, so I don't really have much of a choice on what to hit. I'm going to try and spread... Uh, I tried to spread the Ignite from uh, the existing one, but I wasn't able to. We have a Sun King's Blessing ready to proc. 
We're going to use Scorches here. What I should have done there, I think would have been better, was if I used, whatchamacallit, that's shifting power before I went into this. I'm hoping that the Shaman starts to actually heal me here, because I'm going to slowly die if he doesn't. I have no way to heal myself. And we have the Ravager. I'm going to drop the Meteor. I'm going to use Ice Flows and use shifting power. I'm going to use one of my charges of Fire Blast because I was unable to... I didn't want to cap, is what I'm trying to say. No reason to stand at three charges if I don't have to. Using my instant casts here, I have a combustion available, but I'm not going to use it on a 30% HP target in a Tyrannical. I'm just going to get some more of these ready, and by these, I mean more of my hot streaks or rather my skb so for the next pull i'm looking to hard cast a pyroblast into a and before i finish uh, casting my fire blast i'm going to use combustion in order to get the um, skb buff to go on top of the combustion now, i'm just hoping that the tank moves quickly enough for me to do this he is going to i'm going to use combustion here use a fire blast just trying to get over to the rest of this group i'm going to drop a meteor here probably not my best choice but so far so good this group has died i think the tank could have quite comfortably pulled the next group i'm going to hard cast a pyroblast while the tank gets to it i'm going to hard cast another pyroblast i'm going to use this again i should have used my shifting power before using my skb but i guess these don't really matter wasted one of my phoenix flames there it's unfortunate i have crushing depths on me i'm going to use my shield to soften that blow crushing depths on the other person as well oh, i'm trying to fire blast but i don't have one i would have loved to spread my ignite onto these ones but i can't do that i'm going to shifting power here with ice flows that's why i'm still moving i'm going to interrupt that whatever it was i didn't even see and I have another skb ready i'm going to use it on the highest hp target here i'm going to use a fire blast to prep all of this i'm going to use the aoe shield here because we're kind of taking a bunch of damage here i know i have combustion ready but the group is about to die there's no reason for me to pop combustion hard casting a fire blast going to use this the reason i'm hard casting is because no one has yet reached it i'm going to try and stand on the other side of this thing hard casting a fire blast i don't munch more of my hot streaks oh no i just pulled that group i'm going to disorient it just so it doesn't reach me. This is a good time to use Living Bomb. I don't really use Living Bomb unless there's a bunch of targets and I don't have a combustion running or anything like that. Uh, I don't know why I'm scorching here, but it worked out because it crit. I'm going to use my Shifting Power. This was a bit of a rough pull. I didn't do great here because I body pulled it for the tank and that's never good. I'm going to look to interrupt this one all the way in the back. There we go. That will force it to join up. I'm going to use a pyro Fire Blast and a Hard Cast Pyro Blast to proc my Sun King's Fury here. You'll notice I'm focusing a lot more on just DPSing rather than talking about the... Uh, what are they called mechanics and and whatnot of the dungeon that's because i'm just trying to practice even while commentating i'm going to hard cast a pyroblast again because uh, i have sun king's fury i used a fire blast again just to get set up for my next pyroblast i'm switching targets here because that one that i'm on is about to die that's usually the case when i'm not tunneling into something that's much higher hp than the rest of the mobs scorching here for another pyroblast and that should be fine i'm going to shield here so that the big explosion from that doesn't actually hurt me cool 138k overall dps on trash i'm pretty happy with that i'm summoning danny and now i have my extra damage buff that i forgot about i'm so sorry i really need to get some kind of macro setup that's going to take care of that for me we're not going to bloodlust this because the group asked us not to uh i'm going to hard cast this pyroblast and i'm going to use my combustion before that finishes i'm just spamming the bejesus out of my instant cast trying to get this through i'm going to interrupt that one i'm going to run out and i'm going to use my shield here to soften that blow never mind she's going into intermission that means she interrupts her own spell cast we're going to hard cast a pyroblast here and use ice flow so i can move out of that while still casting i should be looking to interrupt that oh i can dispel that and i can actually get ice flows from it that's beautiful oh i need to move the heck out of that now here i'm struggling a little bit to do what i'm supposed to do which is build more hot streaks and consume more hot streaks we have a hot streak available here we're going to uh, i don't know i scorched a I'll fireball here until i get enough crits to get my final hot streak i'm going to use my shifting power to recover some of my stacks and i'm going to hard cast a pyroblast and she's going into intermission which is a bit of a waste i guess i'm going to look at this witch again and have a combustion available i'm going to target this guy because he has more hp i'm going to use my combustion i'm going to start and just spam the bejesus out of him to try and kill him as quickly as possible i'm going to spell steal that i'm going to blink in this direction to get out of that goddamn entangling bullshit and now we can actually hard cast another pyroblast to tro proc our sun king's blessing because we build up enough hot streak i'm going to interrupt this so it doesn't hurt anyone i think it was even targeting me so i'm just looking out for my own ass and see that's 87.6k dps there not great genuinely not great i should be doing more but i just am trying my best that's all i can do still need to learn i'm glad that we cleared everything in this room so we don't have to worry about where we're where we're taking it i'm gonna double bloodlust here gonna drop this thing on it i don't unfortunately have
have I'm gonna just shifting power here I don't really care because I have high haste so it's gonna give me a bunch of my I'm gonna ice flow so I can keep moving never mind I canceled it with something and I walked into another one like a dum dum tank wants to go into that direction that's fine I'm going to ice flows into power blast I am getting wrecked here because the tank just decided to move into Narnia I guess hard casting my pyro blasts I'm going to use come ha no I shouldn't have used combustion there there's a bunch of mistakes now because just the the way the tank is moving this and trying to make it work isn't really working for the group he moved way too far away but I guess it's my fault for standing on the wrong side of the boss I'm gonna ice flows into a hard cast pyro blast I'm trying to get the heck out of this corner to be honest with you I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to position I think this is just not a very well executed boss fight but I guess it doesn't matter I'm just gonna step over to the other side of the boss here towards the exit so that I can get going towards the next area I'm scorching to get my hot streaks and there he goes I'm gonna waste this SKB because we have to travel a lot to get to the next enemies but I don't really care I'm not gonna risk it I'm just gonna wait here for this thing to go through because I, I have a very bad uh, <laughs> I have a very bad time with these guys they're not hard to avoid or anything you literally just need to walk after they use this and then you're fine I'm just gonna blink through because this one just used it and then I can jump down but yeah uh, I'd somehow on that boss fight I did more damage I think it's the double lust coming in strong I gotta remember to summon Danny unfortunately or and release yeah they're spawn over here our paladin friend went down but I'm gonna resummon Danny because using that elevator thing actually uh, dismisses your non-combat pets I think it might even dismiss combat pets I don't know but we're having some trouble here I am using combustion and I did just use a meteor inside of combustion which is a waste don't do that there's better globals to use you're basically you're using your combustion to start building your sun king's blessing i probably shouldn't have proc my sun king's blessing here but it works out because i start with the next group right away i'm going to use phoenix flames still trying to just build my combustion i don't have anything or not a combustion a sun king's blessing that's like the primary thing right now that i'm working on by the way the, the thing that i'm trying to practice the most is just getting better at my combustion uptime like i'm aiming for 40 something percent 40 percent is great compared to my current 32 or so procking a sun king's blessing i'm gonna use scorch to fill here we'd be able to get one more crit through i'm going to cc them with dragon's breath that'll give me another proc i'm going to fireball here i don't know why i'm fireballing to be honest with you but i wanted to use combustion during a cast i don't know it just feels cooler that way i'm gonna get yoinked back in i'm gonna hard cast my pyroblast you can double pyroblast you can't double flame strike like that that's for sure. And there we go. That's this group handle. I can meteor on top of that. I'm going to do it on top of the DND. &D. That's definitely where the tank is going to take it, right? He wants to be in his DND. &D. He wants to keep them in his DND. I'm going to CC all of them, start scorching for hot streaks. I'm going to shifting power here to recover my stacks before the boss because I have a, a Sun King's Blessing available. Six seconds until my double lust is ready. I'm just going to use my Sun King's Blessing here. I'm going to use my AoE shield because it's going to help everyone one with the dot that's being put on them I'm looking for the totem i should have not switched to the totem i should cleave the totem until i have the ignite on it i'm going to try and get a scorch out of it i can't i'm going to use a fireball and combustion during the fireball and i'm going to hard cast my skb here or my pyroblast to get the skb a little flustered you can tell from the commentary i think i got flustered because of the switching targets thing okay fire blast to spread the ignite i was unable to spread the ignite that's unfortunate tank could do us a favor and move the actual boss over to that but what can you do i wasted a fire blast there you never want a fire blast when you have that just that one charge and no crit ready for it because it's going to be just wasted i'm going to wait for him to go into there we go into this form and then i'm going to wait for him to cast that use my shield here while i have some downtime hard casting pyro blast wasted one of my fire blasts again that's unfortunate, but that should be the boss dead. And I didn't use my double lust like an idiot, but what can I do? I completely forgot about it when I started to focus on the boss fight itself. That's unfortunate. And yeah, 83k DPS at 461 item level. I think I should be doing more, but it's unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't be doing more. Maybe I'm just being way too harsh on myself, but hey, that's the start of every series is me being super, super harsh because I expect results that I have on my better geared characters, on my not so well geared characters. I focused one of the aqua mages so that I can interrupt it. Okay, well, I just interrupted it after someone uh i have an skb no i have just a regular combustion going i think my skb stacks ran out i'm gonna scorch here because the target's going to get very low soon uh looks like we're pulling the next group i'm gonna put a focus on that i'm looking at the tainted sentry somebody else interrupted the one i had focused i'm not going to switch targets here because this is going to be a waste of my dps for damage that doesn't really matter little bolts don't matter the water bolts not at plus 10 tyrannical levels but i think i see why i need a mouse over that 
the meteor was completely wasted. The earth elemental is not doing us any favor. I'm going to interrupt that, try and group them out. This is time for grippy hands, DK. I'm going to CC all of them. Probably should have waited for them to have a cast going. I have really no instant cast stacks. So we have 23 stacks of the thing. Okay, that was really, really messy. I shut up there because I was trying to focus and it wasn't really working out. A meteor here is in the middle of combustion like a dum dum. I think the meteor is kind of worth it. I don't, I don't know at this point. Having it crit feels nice though. We're in scorch range. We're going to hard cast, but at the other target. We could do a double pyroblast. Scorch range again. The SKB coming in straight. Strong. We're just going to CC all of these. If you get a score, cheeky scorch in, we won't. That's okay. I don't know. That was messy because we got very low. I should have used my AoE shield, but what can I do? I should probably also just use a defensive every once in a while. But in low B keys, I just feel like I can't make them worthwhile or i can't remember them because i'm never in that much danger okay trying to stack up with the melee guy we really just want to stack up so that they're easy to clear i'm going to use my shifting power here okay it's on me i'm going to stack up with the other person i'm going to hard cast my skb use combustion here i'm going to use my lust here because i don't think the boss is going to last that long I'm trying to get my scorches through do i need to interrupt any of these no they kind of died spread out because the tank didn't group them up or didn't maybe just didn't have time to group them up i used Use my skb again scorching instead of using my instant cast i should be using my instant cast okay now i should switch back to fireballing hard casting for the skb okay i want to stack up with this person why am i hard casting a pyroblast i think it's because i was confused i don't want to interrupt the cast now paladin definitely a little bit lost in the sauce about what he's supposed to do when this starts happening uh we cleared just about nothing and i think it's because we had shit spread out all over the place but the boss should be dead soon so i don't think it matters it's still going to be a three star but you can see that the execution is not exactly great plotting mirage coming down i'm trying to keep as close to the boss as i can to maybe get some damage out of this i'm going to combustion during this scorch and it's phase two so we're just going to switch over to casting at this thing hard casting my pyroblast for skb big damn we have double lust for a little bit here and that's ozmot defeated i don't know that was messy at the last boss because i think the paladin was kind of lost in the sauce didn't figure out where he needed to go with that cleansing thing but that's okay no loot for us but we did upgrade our three key three times and now we have a galakarn's fall 13 so we're going to go ahead and do that 115k dps overall i'm curious how much i did on ozomat i did 110k not my best but uh yeah paladin's like somebody don't need loot <laughs> i think all of us need loot my guy everyone left too quickly for me to give them the portal because I was kind of walking around thinking about things. So we're going to give the paladin a little portal so he can get out of here. Just waiting a little bit to make sure that the paladin actually uses the portal. He has had long enough. I'm going to now leave. And we're going to start hosting the 13 Galakron's Fall right away. Here we go with a Galakron's Fall. The rogue is asking if he should shroud, shroud here. It might not be a bad idea. I wouldn't say no to that. I'm hoping we pull a ripper. We're pulling absolutely everything. We're going to focus interrupt this. I should be using my combustion. I just wasted part of my combustion. I should have also so use the meteor before using my combustion. I'm going to wait for my combustion to end before I use the meteor because otherwise I'm wasting globals of combustion on something that isn't building hot streak procs. Okay, meteor here. Going to shifting power and use ice flows to keep myself moving through the shifting power. I'm wasting hot streak procs. I should be looking at this ripper. There we go. I got my hot streak or my little SKB consumed. Put a focus on that. Building hot streak procs again. That's my job right now. Oh, I didn't manage to interrupt that. Somebody else did it for me. And to spell steel this just so it leaves our tank alone i have basically nothing to throw at these guys right now but there's one i'm gonna have to scorch through this skb that i just procced get that tempo slice removed scorch this thing okay that was kind of rough we're going to double bloodlust this as soon as i can combustion start using my stuff hard casting here into a shifting power i wasted one of the um, potential fire blasts i could have had there just hoping people get the heck out of that i'm going to go ahead oh okay this guy's gonna do it into shield here blink forwards so I can get into that. Hard cast my SKB. I'm scorching so I can keep moving. I wasted a potential hot streak there. Here's in scorch range. So I'm going to just continue scorching the crap out of him. I do have a combustion ready. I'm going to use that combustion. I'm going to hard cast. Ugh, need to step a bit further away. Okay, I'm good here. I need to cast hard cast my thing i kind of wasted a lot of time in the middle of my regular combustion to hard cast my skb i need to pay more attention i shouldn't combust when i'm like two stacks or so away from skb i should wait for the skb to be ready and then consume that and while hard casting i should use my combustion that's how i should do it now that's something i need to improve on i think i've done that a few times now where i've wasted a bit of combustion hard casting an skb in the middle of it it's not wasted it's good you should consume skb the second you get it it's a good thing to do i just prefer if i'm that close to a 
combustion, I may as well do it. Uh, do the combustion or get the SKB first and then do the combustion. I'm gonna shifting power here. Chrono burst is on me. I'm gonna use AOE shield here because I know the group is gonna take a bunch of damage. I'm going to interrupt that, trying to move up to the tank so that he can do his thing, which is hold aggro, hopefully. There we go. We have the anomaly coming through, a combustion ready, and we have an SKB ready soon afterwards. But I think I'm just going to have to get used to doing that anyway. Are you rocking my SKB or using my SKB in the middle of combustion? I don't know. It feels really bad because I feel like I'm wasting some of that combustion that I could be filling out with instant casts. But what can I do? Hopefully the tank doesn't decide to pull. Good. He doesn't want to pull the anomaly and the coalesce time at the same time because that's that's a recipe for disaster right there. Group's very good about kicks. I haven't been very good about kicks because i'm just focusing tunneling really hard i guess our tank doesn't want to pull next we could pull it next with the with the leech uh i just used living bomb on three targets which is really useless i don't know i just saw the button was ready and I, so i used it i'm going to interrupt everything shaman had the same idea even sooner than i did i'm going to use a shield here because i'm gonna have to have to stand away i'm gonna take damage no matter what so i may as well just use the shield we have an skb ready here in a second i'm trying to save up my scorch charges or sorry my um fire blast charges i'm going to target this one and combust in the middle of that maybe i should have saved combustion for the boss fight you think i don't know probably i wouldn't be able to tell you what's the best idea but I think anytime I spend outside of combustion is time kind of wasted. Although now I wasted a bunch of time on my combustion just not doing anything with it. So I probably should have waited for the boss fight. But oh well. I'll, on a higher key that would have been worth using. Because the fight would have lasted longer. But on a plus 13. Kind of just blasting it. Danny isn't summoned. That's annoying. I'm going to have my double. Why am I hard casting? Why am I hard casting that? That's a good question. Okay. I'm going to shifting power here while moving. I'm trying to stay in the dark zone. I'm going to shifting power or not shifting power, but um, ice flows while uh, casting shifting power. And I'm going to ice flows again so I can hard cast my power blast while still moving around in a circle. Chrono fades coming through. Chrono fades on me. I'm going to step into the light colored area. I need to use the AOE shield. I need to use a defensive. My shit's being procced like crazy. I am moving while dropping it because I'm just trying to stay in the light area. Let's drop the meteor and let's use combustion here. Oh, I'm so stupid. See, I was talking just now about not munching my thing. I'm going to hard cast my SKB pyroblast here in the middle of a combustion not ideal but i'll do it thing isn't on me at least this time i'm going to use invisibility just so i can get a bit of defensiveness here i'm going to immediately blink through that because i'd rather blink through it than have to take the damage i'm going to use my shifting power to recover some of my stacks i used one of my stacks of fire blast while i was still channeling it so that i don't over cap accidentally on them rogue's in a bit of trouble getting hit by the orbs i think looking to hard cast a pyroblast so i can proc my skb rogue having a lot of trouble avoiding these orbs but we get the boss down anyway okay cool uh, 81k dps not great kind of kind of wasting a bit of my um, combustion i didn't have combustion for it and i didn't even use my uh double lust thing waiting on rogue to skip it waiting on rogue pull five we don't need the shroud we can just run past we want to use shroud for the last ones watch your step Group's a little bit new. Rogue quite genuinely got lucky because he released at the exact time he should have, which is when we reached this area. I don't think he did that intentionally. I think he just got lucky. We're going to combust right away. We have a great target to tunnel into. Meteor on one target, not as good as Meteor on many targets, but what can I do? I don't want to use my SKB here because this thing's literally about to die. Then I'm going to be walking around with SKB active for no reason. We don't have a Meteor available. I'm going to hard cast my Pyroblast. Just trying to stay in range of that. My SKB combustion just ran out i'm going to use up all my stacks i'm going to shifting power really really quick i use aoe shield here i don't really care about it not being really optimal i'm going to switch to the higher hp one and just start my hard cast pyroblast because as you can see the other one died very quickly so i have to keep that in mind we got some value out of that skb and we got four stacks of sun king's blessing which are going to run out while we wait for this. But okay, we managed to not make them run out. We have a hard cast of Pyroblast. Erosion's on me. I'm going to try and get it on the tank. There we go. Tank moved over to me to help me out with that. I'm going to hard cast my Pyroblast. I'm using Ice Flows because I want to be able to move. Our rogue's having trouble here trying to stay alive. That's okay. I'm going to have to cast one of these Scorches, I think. It is on the Shaman. We're going to drop this thing. We just took up a bunch of space in the arena for not much of a good reason, I think think should probably use shifting power here i'm going to try and step into the boss's range used one of my stacks of um 
Pyroblast while I was using that. Okay, and we're gonna hard cast our Pyroblast here. Use a Fire Blast in the middle of it so we can just cast another Pyroblast right away afterwards. I don't have an AoE shield for my Shaman friend here who seems to be struggling a little bit. We're gonna drop a Meteor on this bad boy and we're gonna Fireball. The reason I'm Fireballing is because I have stacking crit on the Fireball in case it fails to crit. Okay, it's on me. I'm gonna use a Defensive. Try and find the tank. There you go, tank. I don't really want to consume... Ah, oh, this is wasting quite a bit here i have my shield available i'm gonna let the tank hop it over to me i'm gonna take a lot of damage put it back on the tank the reason i'm not consuming my skb right now is because the boss is about to go into uh, the next phase okay and here we can actually do quite a bit of work with this i'm going to double lust this honestly okay hard casting skb no my skb ran out double lusting screw it wasted my skb completely by waiting that's unfortunate should have kept an eye on the timer for it but that's uh what can i do hard casting a pyroblast here i'm standing in some gunk i think i'm gonna use this while i have my high haste just to get the most out of it i'm still tunneling damage into the same one paladin can use blessing of freedom on himself if he wants to get out of that more quickly but he probably doesn't know that oh no still in the fire don't want to stand in the fire should be using scorch here should have been using fireball here i'm rooted but i can blink and get that root off paladin is just running around with this like a headless chicken i should be hard casting my power blast why am i not doing that i'm gonna use a fire blast before that so i can get an instant cast Power Blast right after that. Rogue's having a hard time and Paladin's just not using the CR for some reason. I'm not sure why that is the case. I think the Paladin's just kind of a Zug Zug player. Uh, they're doing damage. It's good for them. At any rate, I wasted a whole Sun King's Blessing there and I feel really bad about that. I'm gonna spell steal this interrupt this there's a ripper that's a good target i need to combust here might even have it available for the next boss i'm going to cc everything just because i can i think i saw a cast somewhere in there and i think we have our sun king's blessing available i'm going to actually hold it yet again because these guys are just about that i'm going to interrupt that try and get a scorch in i didn't get a scorch in we're going to look for the chrono weaver because he's the scariest tank should be going come on tank there we go I'm going to fire blast as i cast this just because i was capped out. I shouldn't be capped out. That was really nice. That was actually... Why am I hard casting a Pyroblast? That was stuck in my head thinking about what I was supposed to do next. So I just hit the button instinctively for some reason. Okay, cool. That was a good uh, That was a good pull. If you want to get DPS, not amazing. We can shroud here. Cool, we managed to shred past these. I feel like we're still a little bit overcapped on the percent. I don't really mind. We did manage to skip quite a bit. This is looking like a plus, plus, plus. So I'll have a 16 key. I think I'll drop that 16 key down to a 15 and just do that. And that'll be the end of the episode. But let's uh, first kill Iridocron on Tyrannical. Hard cast the fireball here and then use combustion during the middle of it. I don't know if that's even good. Extinction Blast is on me. I'm going to use my defensive here. I'm not even going to use my barrier. Barrier I'm going to use for the group here. AoE barrier for the group. Shifting power in the middle of this. I don't really mind. If you have an SKB ready, I'm going to cast that SKB. Hard casting SKB here. What I don't like about this boss is the travel time towards the boss. And now I need to focus up and not get hit by these. I'm trying to preposition. I'll use one of my own personal barrier here. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to use Ice Flow so I can hard cast this Pyroblast while moving. Scorching here because I'm out of instant cast stacks. That's okay. Stacking right here. So I think he does the, um, yeah, that's what he does. I'm going to blink over just move out just stop why are you running on top of me get the heck off of me rogue this rogue's uh, a little bit annoying at this point because he's really not doing well and he's also <laughs> trying to murder me using my combustion here i don't really have any instant cast stacks available but making it work hard casting a pyroblast here no i'm going to first use my thingy thing here and then i'm going to use my hard cast i'm just going to get out of this circle really quick otherwise i'm going to get one shot there's no reason for anyone else to soak that i'm going to use this and my invisibility the reason i use invisibility is because it gives me a nice big buff. I'm gonna use my double lust thing. I got stunned. I'm gonna move out of that. I wasn't paying attention to that, to be completely honest with you. Okay, he's going into the middle. I'm gonna use my barrier while I walk over. Ice flows, and let's try and get cool. We got a Sun King's Blessing in the middle of that. Why am I scorching? I have the haste necessary to fireball. Okay, cool. And I got a combustion. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him with the combustion left over. Nice. Okay, cool. Not bad. 122k, but I'm severely boosted by the buffs from Crow me and all that so can't really take that as my actual dps probably did significantly less without the buffs but that rogue scared the crap out of me by running on top of me <laughs> Thank you for the run portal incoming. Let me see here. We got a, another Throne of the Tides. I really don't like that. I really, really, really don't like that. Giving people ample time to use the portal. 
going to leave the party. I really, really, really don't like the fact that it's Throne of the Tides. So much so, in fact, that I'm kind of considering just joining somebody's 15 group. I'm going to drop it to a 15 and I'm going to join some other dungeon for a 15 because it feels really dumb to do two Throne of the Tides in the same episode. There we go. It's now a 15 Throne of the Tides and I'm going to reroll it after I join somebody else's 15. Let me actually take a look. I'm curious. Probably not the best, but it might be an improvement in my combustion uptime. Let me take a look at auras. 31%. Okay. Well, yesterday, I think, or not yesterday, but in the previous video, I had a combustion uptime of 20 something percent. 31% is an improvement. Knowing that I munched a few SKBs, or not a munched a few, wasted one entire SKB in that one bus fight, I think I can actually get quite a bit more if I'm just, I just really shouldn't hesitate. I don't know why I'm hesitating so much to just hard cast the damn pyroblast. And then when I shouldn't be hard casting a pyroblast, I do do that. Anyway, <laughs> I said do do. Anyway, I'm going to try and join pretty much any 15 key other than Throne of the Tides or Galacron's Fall, and I'll talk to you in that. Getting started with an Everbloom 15. Pretty excited because it's not like a super easy key. The second boss is actually pretty challenging. We're going to interrupt that. I'm going to look for the Naturalist over here. They're getting pulled. Uh, we're going to combust and get started with it. Probably should have. Oh, I got stunned, so I'm going to use my Blink to interrupt that stun. I got stunned again, but that got interrupted. I'm going to use my AOE CC here. Combustion is about to end. I'm going to drop a Meteor. Oh, we have Bursting, and I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot that I have the other affix to worry about now. Gonna hold off. Oh, we're not gonna hold off. I'm gonna use my uh, thingy thing here. Oof, that was rough. That was that was definitely rough. We even used MD, but it just didn't help. I think we used MD just now, judging by the cooldown on it. Okay, I wasted uh, one of those. I have no shield. I'm gonna use a defensive here. Priest cannot dispel that. Tank is uh, definitely getting his ass kicked. I'm going to interrupt that. Uh, AoE interrupt here. We'll stop everything. We'll knock everything back again. Tank's dead. Tank is not respecting these mobs at all. He's also over pulling. I should have invised there, but that's okay. Tank is running back to try to reclaim that pull. We can't. Chill, dude. It's bursting. Now, you also can't pull like that if you do not even have... Uh, any way to keep yourself alive. I'm going to combust here again, hopefully. No, oh, there's one stack of burst thing. It says zero out of five. No, that's from my other weak aura. Um, what am I supposed to do here? I'm going to invis for the defensive. I'm going to freeze this thing. Try to one shot it. I, I don't know. Dancing thorns are going to interrupt that. Waiting for the burst thing to go through. Yeah, this tank's uh, causing us some issues. I don't have invisibility available. I'm trying to finish these guys off. Not getting many heals here. Just going to hold on. Oh man. Um, not sure how I feel about this round so far. <laughs> this is pretty rough. Um, I don't know what my part in this failure is, but I definitely feel like I had some contribution to to it rough Tank was calling for a reset i didn't really see that in the chat wasted one of my fire blasts here i'm just gonna use my thing and interrupt that wasting some instant cast charges that's okay though or are we pulling more like that i don't know maybe he has a route in mind i'm not going to judge i'm going to hard cast my pyro blast at this okay i'm going to just let it die never mind if the tank pulls no root i i think uh, i think we got an issue of uh Tank not really knowing what the heck is going to go down in this dungeon because it's kind of rough. The pull Naru root in any difficulty is a bad idea because it's just, he just roots you and silences you. It's just a pain in the ass to deal with. We have an MD coming out for, I believe, four or five stacks. Then we have one stack remaining afterwards. Tank is pulling that group. We're pulling this group too. I'm going to kick that one, I guess. Can I sheep this guy? I'm going to sheep this guy because we're never going to group him up to do damage to him. I'm going to hard cast my Pyroblast here. I'm going to CC everything because they're all standing in front of me. I didn't manage to finish hard casting my Pyroblast because I was too busy looking at what the CC. I interrupted that. Hopefully that makes this one actually group up. We're going to drop a Meteor there and a shifting power. I'm going to use one of my fire blast charges because I was going to overcap. Otherwise, I'm trying to build up more hot streaks and consume the hot streaks. Just using Scorch here. I don't have any instant cast event left anyway. Okay, we have hard cast available. I'm going to kick that one. Hopefully, the tank keeps them grouped up over there. I'm not going to use my combustion for this group, I don't think. I'll save it for the next group. I'll save it for the next SKB anyway. We have Scorches available here so we don't have to use our instant casts. Very good. I will soon have an SKB so I don't really want to actually use okay my combustion i also kind of don't want to use combustion on three mobs so i'm just gonna use my skb to finish these guys off and then we'll have more resources available for the boss fight although the boss fight doesn't start i shouldn't use my cooldowns right at the start of the boss fight 
because the real damage should be happening once he goes parched. So I don't know, that was a waste maybe of not using the thing. I'm just going to use it right off the bat. I don't want to use double lust here, though. No. Using combustion here. I just munched my SKB because I, I, wait, man, I just messed everything up. <laughs> everything I could mess up. I'm just going to step forward a little bit so that the other ranged have to take care of that. Okay, well, we moved forward to drop it there. I guess that's okay, too. Okay, Brittle Bark. Double Lust coming in. We're gonna Shifting Power. Use a bunch of these Instant Casts. I don't have Combustion. I don't have SKB. I don't have anything. I don't have Chicken Nuggets. Trying to keep casting. Yeah, build up another SKB. I'm going to CC everything. Tank is doing the whole thing where he stands right there. Why am I casting Fire Blast? I need to keep moving while I'm in Combustion. But it doesn't do great when I'm supposed to be using. Why am I not hard casting? I guess I'll hard cast now. I'm not doing too great. Brutal Bark has ended. Time for Fireball Spam until I get a crit. I got a crit. We send that out. He is now in Scorch range. I'm going to just use my Shifting Power here because I'm going to have a Combustion available. I'm being targeted by this. I'm going to use Ice Flows. I don't have a Combustion. I have an SKB available, but that's something I'm willing to use to build my next one. Scorch range again. Should be bringing this over here here so we block more of these thingy things it's targeting me i'm going to use combustion and skb here but correctly this time so i get the full maximum duration out of it and i should be able to build up another sun king's blessing here as well there it is and the boss is dead hopefully we pull the next group we have md available so we can pull big if we kill them all quickly enough we should be okay Let's see what the tank decides to do. He, of course, wants to do the big pull. He's pulling the next group as well. I'm going to drop my meteor over there. There's the consecration. I know he wants to stay there. And we go big. I should have probably used a living bomb here. I'm going to use it now because it's going to... The mob will die and it'll spread the living bomb to everything else. I know I had combustion rolling, but I don't think I had any instant casts left. I don't know. I just want to use living bomb because it's a cool spell. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm going to munch a couple of instant casts here or hot streaks here just because um, I should have stacked up there for the MD. But uh, actually, no, we did use the MD and I did get the spell by it. So it's not a big deal. Looking at the Cultivator, I'm going to hard cast my Pyroblast here. Going to use one of my thingy things. I keep using Meteor afterwards and the tank, of course, just moves them out of it for no reason. He's also moving out of his own Consecration. I wonder he's dying all the time. I have PI, which is nice, I guess. Um, I have a Combustion available. I'm going to invis here and interrupt that heal. No, I'm not. Hard casting at the Abomination. I'm going to use Combustion here near the end of it. Scorching. Trying to kill this thing as quickly as possible. These big pulls in Everbloom make bursting really such a pain in the ass, especially when the tank is not considerate of it. Munched one of my things. I'm going to just switch to the Berserker because I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to finish my cast on the other guy, on the Abomination. He'll just die too soon. These stretched out pulls really aren't doing anything for me. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my Shifting Power. Use one of my Fire Blasts because I'm going to overcap if I don't. Noxious Eruption. I'm just going to use my AoE Shield here. Hard casting a Pyro Blast to get my SKB through. Wasted a Phoenix Flame there. That's unfortunate. I'm going to AoE CC because someone's being stunned. Aladdin could use some help here, it looks like, but I don't want to use... I, I mean, I don't have anything to use, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I have an SKB coming through soon. I don't want to use that on this group anymore. I'm going to use it on the next one. We're going to pull that Berserker. Is he going to... Put, he's going to pull that Berserker. I'm going to hard cast at the Berserker. Screw it, just so I can get that rolling. I wasted my Combustion. I didn't use it there. I need to use the Combustion after the SKB runs out, which is okay. I'm just scorching here to maybe get some crits in the Near the end of it. Okay, we have an instant cast available. Uh, the abomination isn't pulled. I'm looking for the cultivator. I'm going to drop my combustion here. I'm going to interrupt that so we don't have an extra extra spicy mob here. I'm going to hard cast. We have a uh, oh, we have a very generous priest giving us uh, pi. I'm going to freeze this guy. Never mind, I didn't freeze him soon enough, so he wasn't rooted when he started his jump. You can actually prevent them from jumping if you just root them. I know this because I've done it with a, like a warrior charge, so it's it's definitely doable. Hard casting of pyroblast before our friend reach the mob and now I have another pyroblast the hard cast for the SKB wasting some instant casts here that seems to be the name of the game for me now I'm going to meteor now that they're getting a little bit lower I'm going to focus on the mender I should be scorching the mender just to get my inst uh, my guaranteed crits in and now I can focus or just scorch the abomination okay there's another abomination over there I'm going to try and get my SKB ready I'm going to go in viz because I grabbed aggro somehow there's my SKB ready I'm going to use my cast or my power thing and then I'm gonna hard cast 
in the middle of all of this just to get that. I don't want to use my combustion here. I want to have it for the boss. This should be enough to take care of all these mobs just fine. Well, it's going to kill us all too because we don't have MD. Um, I think the group survives this. I'll just run back. Maybe I even get to hit them a little bit. I don't know. These pulls are weird. I guess it's hard to segment that pull, but I guess we should have waited to have this because you can go to the left pull just a few mobs like the abomination and the patrol and that gives us time to get our md back and then we can do a big pull and the stacks of um bursting don't really matter all right let's recast our buff and let's get started here oh priest is drinking that's okay i'm gonna put a skull on this guy just so we know that we want to go for that i'm going to use my combustion here or yeah my combustion here but i'm also going to use okay well i wasted my interrupt there hopefully i am able to get something out of actually i'm going to put my focus on this guy blink out i can drop this here in the middle of my combustion from skb i guess shifting power trying to get some of my stacks back i can interrupt that i'm going to blink over here i just want to get the heck out of that aoe i'm trying to figure out why i'm casting scorches here i'm going to use the aoe shield here i don't really care hard casting at this guy i'm looking for the interrupt on the revital I don't know if it goes through. There's the interrupt. We're going to interrupt it. Or there's the heal, I should say. Okay. I'm going to just use my shield here in a defensive. Trying to spread my ignite from this guy to this guy. Okay, here we go. Hard casting a pyroblast for some reason. I guess I saw combustion and I know that I sometimes cast combustion into or pyroblast into combustion middle of it. I'm going to hard cast a pyroblast again so I don't munch any of my hot streak procs. I'm going to interrupt that just because the water bolts can be interrupted. Like the idea is to interrupt them near the end of the cast. I'm going to stand in melee range so that I can actually hit both of them with my shifting power. I have my interrupt available so I'm going to use it. I'm trying to get these scorches through. Tank is for some reason just standing and the thing on the side instead of just putting the other boss on top of this i'm going to switch to the other boss and hard cast my pyroblast so i can get my skb going through i was casting scorch there because i didn't think of ice flows to cast fireball i guess i do have a combustion available i don't want to use my combustion on this i want to use it on the next inevitably oversized pull if the tank resets this boss i'm going to be very very upset that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna hard cast my pyroblast here again i don't want to use my uh, combustion on this because he's almost dead I use my shield here to remove this. I guess I didn't need to, but it's okay. I'll have the shield going into the next pull. It was good. The priest was doing great. Just, I, I like this priest a lot. He's using MD. He's doing everything all right. Okay, so all the big pulls are maybe just going to pay off here because we get to skip a few things. Our um, monk fell off. That's okay. I'm looking for an interrupt on the pyromancer. I'm going to drop the meteor for once. Combusting here. I got the next interrupt on the pyroball. Whatever. What's it called? Pyroblast. <laughs> How did I forget my own main ability name? But I guess we just have the one Pyromancer in here, so I just used a lot of resources on that. That was a good MD. I like that. The master spell coming in hot. I'm going to... Oh, I'm not going to interrupt shit, because my sh uh, interrupt's on cooldown. I'm going to use shifting power here. I guess I should be stepping away so that I can actually bait that orb. I'm going to meteor that. Hopefully the tank doesn't move him out of it. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. It doesn't feel like my meteor hit them at all. Oh, no, it did. They're standing in the stuff. That's fine. Okay, so what are we pulling next, chief? I'm going to use my shield here. Okay, we're not. We're just pulling two assistants. Okay, I'm just going to hard cast at one of the assistants then. You know why I'm struggling? I don't have Danny summon. I'm going to summon Danny in the middle of uh, combat here. Hold on. There's Danny. Now I'm going to do better. I'm going to interrupt that right away just so I can get my interrupt on cooldown. I'm going to use AoE shield here. Probably should have saved that for the boss, honestly. I don't know why I did that. I'm just so traumatized from these guys on a uh, fortified because they just straight up wipe groups. Like they do absolutely destroy groups. Scorch is coming through on this guy. Just trying to build up some hot streak conceptions before the boss fight without using too many of my instant cast so i do also have them available for the boss fight oh we're gonna pull more stuff we're gonna freeze this guy this the, the worst thing is this isn't actually enough to get us percent i think yeah this is six percent and we're missing one percent i'm just gonna walk up to here so we can trigger the rp can we trigger the rp like that i don't think we can actually i think the boss needs to be dead i'll hard cast skb here uh, we have an md available so hopefully it gets used Yes, at five stacks. This priest is so good. What the heck? All right, well, I have a combustion available soon. I'm going to double loss this boss. I'm going to use my combustion here. Uh, what the heck am I doing? What the heck am I doing? I got panicked. 
Honestly, I should have used the defensive there before that went off. Okay, I have my SKB. I got lost in the sauce there for a second. I'm gonna meteor here as we don't have anything else left to cast. Trying to avoid that. I don't have my group shield available. Hard casting. There's gonna be an orb coming out soon, so I'm gonna stand over here far away from anyone else. There's the orb. I'm gonna get yoinked in this direction. Okay, this person got yoinked and <laughs> gave me a clear out, but the priest took care of it with a dispel. Okay, what am I doing? Why am I so flustered for this boss fight? I really shouldn't be. I don't know which combination of spells it is right now. I'm just gonna stand far away. I think it's purple and yeah, there's the orb. People are gonna have a nice time because it's really long before they get pulled. I should have watched my positioning here. I have a combustion going now. I'm not doing too hot on this. Again, I use combustion right before I build up a Sun King's Blessing proc, but what can I do? There's the stunny orbs. We're going to get the heck away from those. Trying to get my scorches in. Why am I hard casting? Shouldn't be hard casting. I'm going to have a Sun King's Blessing available here in a second. There's this thing. I'm going to blink over those after getting pulled. Very good. And she's gone. Okay, that was, that was messy. I didn't do too great. I somehow did 104k. I think that's, again, the double lust coming in hot. Sen so the tank doesn't have the greatest of routes. Oh, there's the helpless assistant. I think we kind of missed that one. So that's why we were missing percent. Do I meteor him for the shits and giggles? Nah, I'll save the meteor because he's just about to die. That kind of works out. We were waiting for the RP anyway. Okay, I'm worried a little bit. I recast the buff. Uh, I'm gonna combust here. I don't care. Uh, what's going on? Why am I so flustered? I don't know. I'm getting really stuck in my head here. Okay, I'm gonna hard cast my pyroblast. Actually, no. I'm going to save that hard cast pyroblast for this guy. I'm going to first use this thing. And then we're going to do this. I just want to kill the... Uh, the flourishing ancients as soon as humanly possible okay we run over the flowers i can look at the guy and scorch while i do that okay that was a bit of a waste of dps but it's okay i'd rather not have any other issues than that hard casting i'm going to get that interrupt i'm not gonna get the hard cast hard cast again wasting my time interrupting things that other people can more easily interrupt than the casters who need to stop casting in order to interrupt i'm wasting a scorch there but it worked out because i got a lucky crit i have another combustion ready to go i'm gonna just use it scorch here switching over to this guy i need to fire blast the boss so i can spread my ignite to this guy i should be hard casting but hard cast now i wasted a bunch of procs there priest is doing great on the heal front quite happy with how the priest is playing honestly it's making a lot of this uh, actually doable uh, can i grab that i can grab that very good i'm scorching again for no reason i'm going to shifting power here i'm just gonna shifting power here i'm wasting some instant casts hopefully this fireball crits otherwise i wasted a fire blast yes i did waste a fire blast that's okay okay we're going to scorch now because the boss is in scorch range okay i'm gonna hard cast at the ad as soon as he's out i don't want to risk anything boss is relatively low but i don't want to risk anything there's no reason to I have a combustion coming out right after that i'm gonna use my aoe shield here for the group worked out combustion during that cast and that's okay we're scorching still during the combustion so it works out i'm going to ice flows and try to hard cast this while in combustion okay or while uh, trying to do this thing they're going to start casting soon. I'm going to interrupt them. Never mind, the boss is dead. Okay, Keystone Master. I did a 15. Hey, we got champion shoulders. Those are the ones I turned into this tier piece anyway. Um, I don't actually need the shoulders, friend. And we're going to reroll our Throne of the Tides so I can do... Oh, do I reroll Throne of the Tides? I think I could just do it later. Let's use a portal for the group. I'm not going to reroll the... 15k, I'll just do the Throne of the Tides 15. No reason not to. There we go, let people use the portal. It was a bit rough. The pulls were a bit rough. The burst thing definitely wasn't handled perfectly on the first pull by the by the tank. The first pull was okay. Honestly, the second pull was the issue. They pulled massive after we had already used our MD in order to survive that. So we had no way to really survive it. MD is now a two minute cooldown. So there's <laughs> you gotta be very mindful of when you do those big pulls on Bursting Week. Anyway, 141k, it's on two damage amp bosses so i'm not doing too hot uh let's take a look at y'all knew we did 264k so i did three times more damage because y'all knew gives you 300 more damage if you divide 264k by three you get 88k so i didn't do too hot uh the soul boss fight somehow i think because of the double lust again i did 104k ancient protectors they did 107k and i have no reason to say anything bad i actually did pretty well on that fight considering my general track record and on the first boss i absolutely Absolutely blasted the bejesus out of him because I used all my stuff. I used my double lust during the uh, 
damage amp window, so I just had a lot of damage there. And I also have a very good way to cleave on that boss with Ignite, with the Ignite build, so that's pretty nice. But it is also a damage amp boss, so 199k, take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, the overall has been, uh, I mean, it's not it's not that great again. Two damage amp bosses, huge pulls. I could do more than that. I just need to get better at the class, and I'm slowly but surely getting better at it. A lot of comments have been pointing out that I am being too harsh on myself, and I, I kind of agree. I think it's because I know I can do so much more on my other classes that I just feel bad when I see how poorly I'm performing on this class. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Let me know what you like about it in a comment down below. If you had fun, make sure you subscribe because there's more episodes coming. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can become a channel member. Channel members have guaranteed replies to their comments as well as getting nice little shout outs at the beginning of the episode like Licht Pepe got today. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.